Hello there, this is video is going to be kind of a pairing to a written guide that I will have for my five ways to win in Limbo series. So this is going to be covering, covering the empty floor build. So uh, the concept again is covered in the written guide, but I wanted to just go quickly talk about the cards in question. Um, so uh, if if the, the, the champion that we'll be using is the Burn Bright version of Rector Flicker. Uh, I'm not sure if the accumulator would have enough scaling to keep up. I think you'd pretty much want to go full burnout, but it's I haven't experimented with that, so it's possible. Um, and the key cards in question are both melting cards, so really the secondary clan doesn't matter. Um, and it is uh, Crushing Demise, which is an uncommon card, and then Molded, which is uh, a common card. Now, um, those are the ones, that's the combo you can start with. Um, you can always, there's more options if you're willing to, you know, in the first couple of rings you might be able to draft uh, into this as well. So um, we have Sacred Wicks, which is not ideal, but it is a uh, uh, a card that gives you reform. You could consume, remove it. It's still pretty cheap. Um, you could get um, Wicked Blaze is another way to reform. And um, less ideal is Remnant Pact. That's not really the, what the strategy would covering is. It would be helpful uh, for an otherwise a run that could use a lot of the same tactics, but it wouldn't really be the full strategy we're covering here because we need to be able to reform multiple times in a turn. So yeah, the idea is you're going to be using Crushing Demise to kill everything on the train, including your champion, and then using Moldeds to bring back your champion bigger, faster, stronger every time. So I'm going to get into a run here. Um, uh, as I said, it really doesn't matter what the secondary clan is. So... Um, just gonna do uh, let's do Awoken it, it really doesn't matter but uh, you could do maybe Hellhorned uh, so that your imps get removed but then oh, I guess that's fine uh, I'm gonna do Hellhorned just so I have a smaller deck uh, in the second cycle so let's go I'm gonna do a little fast forward here because chances are I'm not gonna start with those cards I'm covering this specific start, I'm not recommending you restart until you get to it normally unless you're trying to try this build out, but it's more of a, if you happen to get it, even if it's like ring three or, or early enough in the run, you can kind of make it work. So uh, I almost didn't pick Rector Flicker here. And time for some fast forwarding. All right, here we go. Uh, here's an example of a run where I might go for for the strategy. I'm starting with Crushing Demise, but I have no reforms. So um, I'm going to, uh, like, I probably won't post this if I don't get a reform, but I think it would still, you know, have a decent chance of winning. Um, but, yeah, I'm starting with Crushing Demise, so I'm just going to keep an eye out on the reform, uh, and hopefully in the first couple of rings. Um, so we don't really have anything we... We have literally nothing we're going to give consume, so I'm going to say, let's skip this. Uh, the strategy does not rely on units besides the champion, so let's go, and I think this is, should be a pretty smooth first fight. Now, again, um, I'm, uh, I guess I should be planning for not getting it, so I probably would take this trial. Um, but he, he wouldn't be seeing this if I... Oh, well. Okay, so we don't have any burnout extension or reforms, so I'm just going to play out as much stuff as I can, since we have only units. Uh, we just want to make sure that we play out everything so that our, we have a good chance of the champion showing up. Leave two spots for him on top, I guess. Huh. 
How are we doing here? We can... It's a risky crushy demise for getting rid of a healer. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe up here. And here's our champ. Excellent. Champ, champ is great. So we got the molded, so we can uh, do the strategy that we talked about, um, which is good. And so we're just going to head, make a beeline towards the spell shop. We want to be able to duplicate these, uh, maybe get hold over. Um, so we'll make them free. And remove, I don't know, train steward. We don't actually have any spells, so um, might as well just remove a train steward since it takes up more capacity. And we want the money. Uh, sure. Oh, no collector. There's a risk here. I would crushing to my the champ, but um, actually, what we could do is this: reduce the chances of it being a problem. That was worth it. Gotta leave the space for the champ. So we're gonna take some fire damage here. Mostly because we have kind of sacrificed everything to make this work. But we're good. Yeah, we just want to increase our chances of drawing the cards we, we need. Um, higher health is probably worth it. Um, on the other hand, we could get holdover. That's a tough choice, but I think it's fire health right now. Uh, we don't really need holdover. Uh, we do have tombs, but I don't think we need the ember. So let's skip. Um, I, <laughs> I'm in the habit of skipping cards there. I probably should have thought about it a little bit more. Um, but since any buffs that we would get would go away quickly because of our intended strategy, that's a little risky. Let's do this. I think it's too early to uh, play out or kill the champ on purpose. You in here? Let's get you out of here. Okay. One wave remaining. Okay. Get you in here. You're dying, you're dying. We have room for the champ on every floor. Okay. I'm gonna hope I get the champ here, and I do. So we should draw into our reform. Yeah, we only have two cards. There we go. I think Endless is a mistake here. And we'll take draw. And we need to dupe. Um, I'm thinking 
crushing demise first. Now, that's one downside of having this uh, drafted later in the run is you normally start with two moldeds. Um, so we are going to be a little behind, but I wanted to see if I could make it work. a little dangerous. Right, we will Should be drawing our cards every turn now. Okay. So now we can uh, crushing demise this, get our champ, and he'll have three turns to kill. He doesn't need it. Uh, sure. Resin removal. I don't think I actually need resin removal here. Um, Subsuming Blade is interesting, but I think we just get more Crushing Demises. Artifacts. There are a number of good artifacts. Um, and we have a, a, a large amount of money, so let's... <laughs> this one is okay. Um, we can't afford to get anything else, but uh, that one is just a way to deal with backliners, sort of. Um, I guess we take Heartless. That's uh, an extra third of a round of Relentless. guy's in an annoying position. So he'll attack three targets. I guess I'll just do it this way. And he'll get through. That's fine. doing we are still not drawing our crushing demises we have two of them next turn though should be fine let's get this guy out of there and I think we've gotten through most of our deck all right crushing demise crushing demise Oh, that's too bad. Um, sure. I mean, I don't see what this does, but sure. I don't know why I did it that way, but it's fine. one fruit reform so no reason to crushing demise. So this one is a little closer than I would have liked. That's okay. 
another reform. I kind of like that. Um, since I only have one, and it's obviously it's a better one. Um, none of these. Okay, so we could dupe, and that's what we're going to do. So I just got another reform, so let's get another Crushing Demise. And, okay, Exploding Candle means the final fight is solved. Um, we have just won, um, again. Uh, we didn't win in Limbo because we didn't have a reform, but now we've won. So, congrats us. We just need to remove more, some more cards, so still not quite there. You guys out of here. Way to contrition, okay, that's fine. I'll just play you guys up here. Yeah, and there's I'll have to crushing demise, I guess. Okay. You know what? Start this thing out. Get you back. We're finally played all of our units, I believe. Dazed, okay. That's fine. So I do like to keep the champ alive, uh, even though he stays, just so that um, he's in position to get another reform the next turn. So now we're gonna, this is where we're starting to kind of really show off what the deck does. You reform, kill, reform, and now here there's a chance I don't get to kill it, which is too bad. Dazed is fine, so we're gonna kill, kill, and just get really sad. Kill, reform. We only have one reform, so no reason to kill again. I'll kill these guys. Okay, so we're gonna. We have two reforms, so we will reform. Kill, reform, and kill just so that the reform cycle works up there. Okay, we have two reforms. Uh, we were winning already, but I'm just playing it out here. So it was a little close. Part of that was just we have too many units still. We gotta take draw and dupe and remove. I love it. So we're gonna uh, remove two welder helpers and dupe. Okay, so we have three kills. So let's make it three moldeds. Um, since I haven't discounted the uh, the better mold reform yet. None of these appeal to me. And we just go for a full burn bright. No problem. Okay, so slight problem. We're not doing enough damage. One's dying there. You in here and you in here. Yeah, I really want to kill you. I think we'll be fine.
How are we doing? Let's kill you. Kill you. Get this back. Only one one reform this turn. We'll be behind. Alright, kill you. Kill you. Reform. Kill you. Reform. Okay. We're not winning yet, so let's fix that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. Okay, uh, none of these advance my win condition, and none of these advance my win condition. So we're looking for dupe and removes. Unfortunately, we have to choose. So I think it's the dupe. We want to have one more crushing demise, ideally. Units cost minus two. Light's Gift. I guess Light's Gift means like basically plus 30 health um, and I have a ton of money. Um, and let's, let's just... Ah, oh, man, it's so... I can't remove all these units, so I wonder if I just do that instead and make it a little smoother. Okay, so we have... We're going to dupe the Crushing Demise. So we have three reforms and four kills. I think that is good, good amount. Uh, okay, sure, I will discount this for no particular reason. Oh, I didn't think about one thing, which was these guys not dying. It's okay. So let's just kill up here. Okay, how are we doing? We have three kills and three reforms. This can wait. And so, what I like here is, uh, at this point of the run, I can set up wherever I want. Unfortunately, so if the boss is in the second or bottom floor, I could do some damage, but it's just unnecessary. Okay, so we're gonna kill here. If three reforms, so we can kill both of these guys. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about the artifact. I'm gonna put this guy off. Actually, no, I don't have another... I do have another reform, so... I could have killed him. That was a mistake. It's not a big deal, though. Okay, so I'm gonna kill... Reform... Kill... And this is why I feel like having more kills than reforms is fine, because now I can kill these two. Okay, so top floor again, because I haven't gotten around to killing those guys. So I haven't been playing this final phase optimally, but it, you, don't, you don't need to. Let's, let's you know what, let's uh, try to... Yeah, that was a mistake, and so is this. Okay. 
Darn it. Okay, so 2,000 damage. Alright, we have three reforms and two kills, so just on principle. I want to kill this tank, so he doesn't deserve to live. We are winning, I suspect, but we had a whole nother floor with days. Cool. So yeah, some some suboptimal plays, but um, you know, this was a run that did not start with the limbo, uh, like. It's a demonstration of how you could flex into it. So, um, reforms are pretty common. Um, there is a common, an uncommon, uh, common, an uncommon consumable. Um, I guess that's it that I can think of, but still, that's a good number. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.